Hello, right, I'm just going to do a quick video on how I um, gut and skin my rabbits. I did ask, I've had a couple of people at the, my local pub ask me, um, wanting me to show how to do it. And uh, so I'm going uh, to do it. This is a rabbit I shot yesterday uh, in Yorkshire. It was a nice, healthy rabbit at the time. Um, and it was a particularly good shot as well. I can't show you the shot, but I can show you how far it was. I think it was about 100 metres, 110, something like that. I'm going to measure it next time I'm there. Um, so I'll put a little video of that on like now. Anyway, I'm just going to get straight on with it. Right, I use this for skinning and gutting. Um, it's a little uh, open or knife. I use this sharpener. They're amazing. And then me chopper. Um, so I just use the chopper to take the legs off and um, and get it done. Right, I've got loads to do, so I'm going to just get on with it. So first I chop off the leg. Get this one bad boy where I keep it out. That's it, one gone. Fling him over. Second gone. Okay. Fling him over again. These legs, the back legs are a bit, bit bigger, so we want to keep some of the meat on here. So we're going to not do it all the way up, but about there, I think. Gone. Same with this one. Okay. Gone. Also, what I do is I was trying to take the tail off if possible as well because it helps a bit later on. So that's that gone. Okay. Okay, so all obviously the guts and nasty parts are in here. You've got the chest cavity here with the heart in. Um, so try not to pierce any of the intestines or the, the vital organs with, with your knife because it smells bad enough as it is, but it absolutely reeks if you cut them open. And also, um, if you do that, if you cut them open, it can taint the rest of the taste of the meat, which we don't want because. We don't want our um, rabbit and duck burgers to taste nasty. We want them to taste nice. So, so what I do, turn him over so he's laid on his front, pinch a bit of skin at the back, take the knife, pull it through. Okay. Open it up a little bit. So you've got a hole in there now. So all I'm going to do, you, you can just stretch it with Work your way around with the, pulling the skin away, like that. Okay, so you can just work your way around, pulling the skin away from the meat and the stomach where it is. Just pull that away, like that. It's like tickling it, doesn't it? I try to eat most of everything that I shoot, obviously, apart from um, proper vermin like rats and god knows what, but um, I like to try and use everything that I shoot ideally because then you know it's not died in vain, poor little, poor little darlings. Okay, so we've worked away all the way around. The outside we now expose his belly and his back so now I'm just gonna grab this grab him by his head grab this and we're gonna pull his trousers off there we go so that's that okay still see his tail here so I'm going to cut that out and
Now, I'm going to work away up the top, expose his shoulders and his little front legs. Pull them, try and pull them out if we can. That's it. Okay. Work the skin around it, pull it out. Okay, then I'm just going to pull his pull his jumper up and expose his neck. Okay, so once you've got his neck exposed, we're just going to chop. That's it. So that's his head and his jumper gone, which leaves this bit. Okay, so. What we're going to do is just pinch a little bit of this, nick it, stick our fingers in, pull them open like that and then just score the knife across like that. The reason I do that is rather than just sticking the knife in because you don't want to pierce any of this stuff because it's nasty. It smells bad enough as it is. So what we're going to do, nip it, nip it, like that, look. stick your fingers in, it's not very nice but, and then you're pulling it up and away from the guts inside, okay so. That way you're keeping the knife away from the guts all the time, the nasty stuff that you don't want to hit with a knife. Okay. Then, to my side here, you can't see it, but I've got a bin. It's called the nasty bin. I only use it for gutting, so I'm taking all the insides out and just dragging it down. Okay. All the nasty bit. Going through the chest, taking his heart out. Okay. All the nasty stuff. So then we've got a rabbit. Can just take take that. That's his neck, I think. Right, right, just chop it. That's his neck. So I'm just gonna take that bit off. Get rid of all the nasty stuff. We've got two little two little front legs, back legs, and this stuff I always cut off because you can't really use it for anything. If you had dogs or ferrets or whatever you could use it for that I suppose, but I can't use it. Um one thing you have to do is obviously there's a little hole here that's where his intestines went out to his bum hole so I'm just going to break this bone here but I don't want to chop it all the way down ideally like that. so I can just open it up there you go look a bit of poo some intestines all this So all right. we need to take all that out obviously you don't want that mixed up with your meat okay so it's clean inside there got all the nasty bits out so I'm just going to take this bit off here the skin trim it back it goes up around the chest so we're just going to take that off as well because there's nothing we can do with that unless you've got a dog or or whatever. So again, take that off. Okay. Right. So that is a whole rabbit skinned and gutted. Now you see on the back you've got like the kind of fillets if you like going all the way up the back you can see them there they go you can see where it stops there look okay and what I like to do when I'm portioning it up get any get any nasty bits off these this is going to be used for burgers 
So I'm going to take the meat off whatever I need, but I'm just going to portion it up for the sake of this. Okay, so what I do is put a nick in there, pop his joint out. You can hear it going. Make sure you get as much meat off as possible. That's one leg you've got there. Gonna put a little skull down there. And again, just gonna pop, you can see his joint there, look, just popping it. Battle joint. Ah, there we go, it's gone. So, and then turn it over because you want to have your knife and get as much of that good meat as you can. So that's another leg. Okay. There's not a lot just there, look, you see? It's uh, the, the kind of tenderloin, or not tenderloin, the, the kind of uh, fillet sort of starts there. So I'm just gonna chop that plate bit off at the back. Ready? Okay, um, I'm going to take his front feet off, that's one, it's just like a little chicken one really, there's not a lot on them but I like to use as much as I can. Okay, two, and then I'm going to peel some of this skin off. Pink houses. Go on. So, I'm going to run the knife all the way down the middle of the backbone and start on this side because that's the side it's gone on run knife all the way down the middle of the backbone okay so you're kind of pulling down slicing and twisting like that at the same time so you're trying to get as much meat off, you're rubbing it down the side of the backbone. This rabbit, you want it, you want, you want a massive one actually, so I don't know if you want that big, but basically that's like your, your loin, and then you've got another one on this side. If I was if I was cooking it up and I was making like a pie or something like that, um, then uh, I would keep all the bones, and they would go into making a nice kind of gamey stock. Bringing it off the backbone. Come on. Okay, cut them off there. So we've got another like uh, sort of little tender on there as well. So, so you're just left with the carcass, the chest, there's a bit of meat there, but that'll go to the dogs, I'll probably give it to my friend's dog. Okay, so that's going in there, so you're left with them, your two little front legs, and your two 
back legs. Okay, so there's an awful lot of meat on it because it wasn't a massive rabbit though, to be fair, it was kind of a very average size. Um, some rabbits you'll get a bit more meat off. But they're going to go in my tub, which is all going to be deboned. And um, I'm going to get on now with the rest of these rabbits. I've also got some ducks. I'm going to be doing some videos on um, my duck and, um, duck and rabbit. Uh, duck and rabbit meat burgers so i'm going to do some um some like cajun spice ones some barbecue cajun spice i'm going to do some uh, herb and garlic ones and some like spicy uh, chinese ones as well chinese style ones so like and subscribe and um and hopefully you'll see some more good videos thank you bye bye